Hello, it's Naomi here and I just wanted to show you one of my design team pieces that I've been working on for Fernley Designs. I've done a chest today, it's not one of their chests this time, um, it's a box that I already had indoors but I went a little bit crazy with the flowers and I just wanted to share with you what I've done. So what I did is I sprayed the box with Dilutions um, Spray Ink and then I'm not sure if you can see that clearly but I've actually stamped on the top with a script stamp and that one's from visible image and then what I've used on this one I've stuck on um, a metal peacock that I've had in my stash for a while and then I went crazy with the flowers um, all of the flowers except for this one this one and this one are from Wild Orchid Crafts and the flourish that I've used here is this one and I love the naked wood against the purple I thought the contrast was beautiful so I didn't ink or anything with these ones as I normally do so that's this one and what I've done is I've actually cut this piece off with each of them and then I've used it here, I've actually stuck it on its, on its own. Now cutting bits off with the Fernley embellishments is really easy, just use a sharp um, uh, craft knife and that works for me though. If you've got thin bits like this you can probably even use scissors. But it makes them so versatile because you can use them in so many ways and I'll show you another way that I've used it in a minute. So that's that one and that one, in case I forgot to tell you is corners type 9 okay and take your over onto the top now originally i was going to use these nettle leaves and then i was playing around with these and these are the celtic style hearts now these come in three sizes this is the largest one at 100 millimeters this is the smallest one and that one's 50 millimeters and there is actually a middle size but i've used all those so i'm afraid i can't show you that so I've used the smallest size, which is that one, and to me I thought they made great leaves, so I actually tucked them in as leaves, and as you can see I've layered there, and I've got another one there. I just think they worked out really well. I'll take you around to the back. Okay, so again with this one, what I did was to cut the leaves. And I cut off this piece at this joint here, and I cut off this piece here, and took two, and I just put them together like that. So obviously without this bit here, they sit flush together there. Yeah? It's not quite like that, it's not like that. And again, I've left those nude gorgeous flourish I really like these it works so well with flowers so I definitely I've already bought another two loads of those actually and then on the side I've used Corners Type 6 which is this one and I've put them back to back and I've used two on oops sorry to that side to that side again I've kept the nodes because the colour is beautiful and as I said that's Corners Type 6 or Small Vine if you want its official name so this is my box, as I said I went a little crazy with this one, with the flowers, and on the inside all I did was spray it purple, and probably going to put some um, felt or something in the bottom of that box there, there you go, I've called this one Flowers of Flourish, I do tend to name my makes, simply because it makes it easier for me to work out what's what later on. I hope you enjoyed it, it's a really easy project to make, as I said these are very versatile, you can cut bits off and reposition them somewhere else coming out and you can see a little bit there that I cut off and then I've put a couple of bits there as I said, brilliant blush to work with with flowers and I hope you like the leaf idea with the Celtic hearts, anyway I'll stop nattering, I'll talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.